In this video, we want to evaluate the integral from 0 to 2 of the absolute value of 2x minus 1. So let's review a few things here about absolute values. The absolute value of x will be x if x is greater than or equal to 0. The absolute value of x is equal to minus x if x is less than 0. So the absolute value of any number or any expression is always non-negative. It's either 0 or positive. So now to deal with this definite integral, I'm going to go ahead and break this up into two, two integrals. I have to stay between 0 and 2 because those are the limits of integration. So here in this case, I'm going to say, well, let's see, 2x 2x minus 1 will be negative or less than 0. Adding 1 to both sides divided by 2 if x is less than 1 half. Now 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Bringing this over and dividing by 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1 half. So I'm going to break this up into two integrals. From 0, somewhere to 2, and I'm going to use this 1 half as the middle point for some number between 0 and 2. So this means that x is less than 1 half, which means that 2x minus 1 is negative. So that means to remove the absolute values, I have to take the negative of that. So if I'm, if I'm in that interval, I can rewrite this in this form and then plus, next integral will go from 1 half to 2. Just breaking it up, the original into 2. So in this interval here, x is greater than 1 half. So when x is greater than 1 half, or equal to 1 half, 2x minus 1 is positive. So there I can remove the absolute values. So this would just be 2x minus 1 dx. Now I'm ready to integrate here. I'll go over here then. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply through by this negative and then integrate. So be minus 2x, then integrate, add 1 to the exponent there, 1, and then divide. So that'll be minus x squared. This would be a minus, minus 1 is a plus 1. Integrate with respect to x, that'll be x. So I get minus x squared plus x when I integrate. And then this is going to be evaluated. The limits for the first one are from 0 to 1 half. And for the second one, integrate again, add 1 to the exponent, and divide by 2. So it'll give me a 2 and divide by 2. So it'll give me x squared minus x. And the limits on this one are from 1 half to 2. Okay, so then we evaluate each one. The first one from 0 to 1 half, so we put a 1 half where the x is, so that'll be minus, and then 1 half squared is 1 fourth. Put a 1 half where the x is, this will be 1 half. And then it's minus, the value at x will be 0, but that just gives me 0, 0, so this will just be 0 here. And that's what we get there. So let's combine those two values there, be minus one fourth plus one half. So multiply this by two here and two here. That'll be two over four and minus one fourth is one fourth. This is two over four and minus one fourth is one fourth. And then for this one over here, let's put in two. So this would be a four 2 squared, and a minus x, and x is 2, so it'll be minus 2. I plug in. Next one, we're going to subtract the value at the lower limit. So put a 1 half there, that'll be 1 half squared, it'll be 1 fourth. And a 1 half there, that's be a minus 1 half. And then 4 minus 2 is 2. And then for this one here, it'd be 2 
times two scale the common denominator would be two four there and a two here. So see minus two over four and a one fourth. So it'd be two fourths and one fourth. Minus two fourths and one fourth is a minus one fourth and a minus is a plus one fourth. Because of this minus in front. Then we combine these two. Two plus one fourth is nine over four. One fourth and nine fourths is ten over four. Reduce it down, divide by two there to reduce it. Two into ten is five, two into four is two. So five halves is the value of the interval. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.